Travis, um, I know you guys don't dwell in the past, but last year was a tough one for you guys there. No, we're definitely thinking about that for sure. I mean, that's uh, that's uh, it. It drives the mindset for this game. You know, a very tough physical team that could uh, create havoc if you give them the opportunity. And um, we have to take care of the ball. That's the biggest thing. And then just match that energy up front, knowing uh, knowing about their DI. You guys have a lot of new faces too, and plenty of you guys were here for that game. How do you kind of let the new guys know about last year? It starts from the top down. Uh, Coach Reed. Uh, presents us with a challenge every Monday or every Tuesday. And from there, we, uh, we go about our work week, work week accordingly. And it's, it's been that way since I've been here. And every single week is a new challenge. And this week, it's, we got to match the physical, physicality that uh, you know, Vrabel brings with every single defense that he has, um, uh, kind of the mentality that he played with. And then on top of that, you know, we got to take care of the football. And, uh, and on, the, on the other side of the ball, we know that they got a tough, uh, hard-nosed running game. And we got to stop one of the best running backs that's uh, ever played the game. Travis, uh, Jody's down. We don't know exactly what's going to happen, but just your impressions of Jordan Franks in practice squad tight end since, you know. Man, it's, it's fun to see him progress. You know, it, we have a great locker room. Coach Melvin's got us all fired up every single day, playing, the, playing with our inner 10-year-old, uh, as he likes to say, and get out there on the grass every day. And it's just, uh, you know, seeing Jordan build every single week, his attention to detail is awesome, man. And that's, that's what you want to see out of a, out of a teammate, out, out of somebody in the building. They want to keep learning and want to keep getting better. And uh, sure enough, I mean, he's been doing an absolute unbelievable job getting the defense ready, as well as keep uh, inclining as a player himself. How far have you seen from the growth of the receivers so far? Well, I mean, they were all very established before they got here. We're talking about Juju and, uh, and MVS. Obviously, Nicole has has, has been a guy that you know we, we know we can just get the ball in his hands, but he, even his routes have have progressed just with reps. You know, with more reps you get with one five. You know, Patrick Mahomes is he's uh, he's special for a reason because he makes guys around him better. And the more reps that he gets with you, uh, the more communication that he has with you, the the, the better off we are as a team because we're just we're on the same page and stuff. So um, I, I think you'll slowly see everybody keep rising to the occasion, and keep kind of uh, emerging in this offense. What do you see out of Kadarius Tony so far out there in the practice? What makes you believe he's going to be a just solid contributor to the team? I mean, he brings energy. I think his uh, his ability speaks for itself. He's very quick and put his foot in the ground with the best of them, um, and especially with the ball in his hands. He has a, he's one of those guys where his awareness is crazy. You think he's got eyes in the back of his head because he sees guys coming from different angles and stuff. So, um, haven't seen you know the 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 full arsenal that is him yet, but I think uh, he's definitely going to help us out. Uh, in the near future, definitely uh, in the long run, for sure. You, you were with him before, but how excited do you sense he is for to have this fresh start in Kansas City with you guys? You, you, you just see that he's excited to play football. He's excited to be in the building, you know. And I think um, I'm not sure what it was uh, anywhere else, but I know that right now he's been an awesome teammate. and He's been uh, constantly trying to learn, and um, it's just been fun to uh, get in the huddle and, and helping him build and getting comfortable. Travis, just with how different the receivers are as compared to last year. Um, do you see defenses still trying to adjust to, to what you guys are doing? Um, yeah, well, I mean, 100%. I think the, uh, the element of surprise or the element of something new, um, you can't really scheme it up. And I think that's definitely uh, helped us out as well as Pat playing his tail off and understanding where to go to the ball, uh, even more so than he was the years prior. You know, he just keeps getting better every single week. So it's just... Um, yeah, I think defenses are, are still trying to figure out exactly how we're using all these pieces, knowing that we got a bunch of new pieces, and um, I think that's that's helping us definitely. That's the same question. What what, do you, what does it mean about the uh, tight end room to be able to be part of the unexpected stuff for for other teams' defenses? You guys are involved in the offense, but the tight end specifically, you guys have a lot of options. And what does it say about your room and Andy Reid's trust in you guys? I'm a little biased, man. I think the tight end room has got a. Uh, more of an advantage than uh, than any other position on the field, just because our size and our ability, and especially the guys that we got in that room. Um, so definitely a little biased when I when it comes to you know getting excited about us getting involved. But I think uh, I think we can keep growing, and then sure enough, um, I think Blake Bell's uh, on the on the horizon here, so we get all four of us back in there. Just to follow up on what you said earlier, is there a certain enjoyment to not knowing exactly what the defense is, is going to? It seemed like last year it got to where it was was pretty typical. No, uh, it was still it was still you know what I mean. It was still exciting. It was still fun. I think I get excited for a new game plan uh, more than anything. You know, how are we going to attack these guys? How can I get excited? How can I visualize how I'm going to attack my opponent all week long and all the various you know outcomes that could come on any single play or any given play? And it's just. That's what you get fired up for. That's what uh, fuels my excitement for every Sunday or every game day. 
is that ability to get, get excited for the, the plays, not just for me, but for everybody on, on the field, man. Travis, I know throughout the season, man, last year, you know, you had got a lot of jam coverage and everything, but you kind of found a way out of it. But this year, just as you get extended into the years, how do you feel you've just been able to just maintain your body throughout the season? It seems like you've been doing a really good job of that this year. Just how you able to we, um, I've been very fortunate, man. been very fortunate to... to be as healthy as I've been uh, over the course of my career. You know, there's a game where you can get put in some tough situations. And uh, I've been fortunate to be able to put this pads on um, for the amount of time that I have been out there. And um, with that comes a lot of, you know, preparation. It comes a lot of uh, work with the trainers in this building, my guy Alex Gasel. And uh, there's, there's so many, you know, people that, that there are so many things, so many variables that go into that. Um, it's hard to just pinpoint one, man. I've I just been uh, very fortunate and always trying to, you know, go to work and make sure I'm ready for any situation. Travis, uh, the 49ers game was another game that you guys fell behind early by double digits, came back and won big. You know, the, the game started with the pick, and you guys got down 10-0, and, uh, you know, the 49ers can be a good defensive team, and that building is starting to get loud. How does none of that get you guys out of your comfort zone? Well, we know we can put points up fast, and that's the biggest thing. Uh, we know what we're capable of, and I think that kind of um, it helps you gauge what's possible and what's what's not. And then on top of that, you can't let doubt seep in at any point in the game. As soon as you you know let doubt seep in, you might as well throw the throw the white flag or you know call it quits. You just gotta have the mentality of keep fighting and keep finding ways. And uh, we got full trust in our defense to be able to keep us in games, and uh, I'm sure they got full trust in us to be able to put up points, no matter uh, no matter how many we need, man. Last one, Sam. I don't think we've asked you about your podcast yet. Yeah. I just wondered um, how that came about and the, just how you're enjoying it. Um, I mean, I'm having a blast, man. It's fun to see. Uh, it's fun to just do something with my brother weekly. And, you know, I think he, he's said it a few times how it's uh, it's been – it's been good to just have that set of, set amount of time to be able to just sit down and, and chat, knowing that you know everybody gets caught in the routines of work and kind of get distance a little from their family if they're if they're grinding or it can happen. So it's just been cool to um, hang out with him and uh, and and just talk about just about everything out there, man. That guy, he's a funny dude, man. So it's it's always it's it's like we're just kicking it at dinner, you know, back back when we were in high school and college together, and um, it's cool to see. It everyone you know react to our relationship and uh and listen into his storytelling man he can tell the story thanks, thanks, thanks you already know have a good one guys